Legends and Lore, presented by Mercury and Triton Boats. One dismal afternoon in 1967, an insurance salesman named Ray Scott, his fishing trip rained out, was watching sports in a motel room when he sat bolt upright as though he'd been shocked. Like all epiphanies, the message was simple, clear, and strong. And I saw virtually every sport have some form of competition where the audience could observe it, but fishing didn't have that. I thought, why not? Scott soon came up with a plan to make bass fishing a big time spectator sport. The result was revolutionary. A fully organized and regulated bass tournament offering cash to the winners. Well, I saw this ad in the paper, and it says, uh, Bass Tournament, Beaver Lake, Arkansas. Win $2,000, put up 100 call Ray Scott in Montgomery, Alabama. I had never heard of a bass tournament before in my life. In fact, all I ever done had guided. I thought it was a joke when I got the invitation. I'd never heard of anything like that, so I decided to go just try to learn something. Not satisfied with the quaint idea of build it and they will come, the super salesman kick-started the process by hitting the phones hard. He says, it's a cinch, you'll win it. You, you, you're a good enough fisherman that you will win that tournament. I found out later that Ray told the entire hundred that. Although Scott lost $600 at Beaver Lake, 106 anglers from 13 states made headlines and drew hundreds of curious spectators. It was the beginning of a new American sports culture. It was an event that uh, uh, really opened the doors for Bill Dance and a lot of other fishermen. So I don't know why I can't give you a definitive reason other than the fact it was something in my gut, something in my heart that said it needed to be done. 